What is this guy doing? Smellable just les maisons. Oh my god, you killed it, Nada. It's canceled. Today's canceled. Leave like later than I'm supposed to. Hey guys, so I have a Lincoln again this week, which is super exciting. If you guys do not remember, I vlogged an entire week back in November, I believe, where an agency lent me a Lincoln Aviator car for an entire week. So today I'm experiencing the Lincoln Corsair PHEV, which is much smaller than the Lincoln Aviator, but still absolutely stunning. It's all about comfort, Lincoln, and I'm going to obviously show you guys that throughout the week. So right now I've just picked up the car. I've just picked up my mom. Hi. And you're so cute. And uh, we are headed to the bank because um, I'm going on vacation soon and I need to pick up my European credit card. And then from there, we're gonna go for breakfast together and treat my mom to a long overdue birthday brunch because unfortunately, she was sick for her birthday. Like I haven't spoken to you all day. My mom and I, as you guys saw, we went shopping and just had a nice day together. Went for breakfast and now I'm in obviously the Lincoln Corsair. I have a meeting coming up in three minutes with the agency um, who set this whole collaboration up. They're just gonna kind of tell me a little bit about the car, some cool features that I can discover this next week. Um, the meeting's probably gonna last like 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna stay here in the West, I'm in the West Island right now um, with my parents, have a nice dinner together, and then I'm gonna head home later tonight. I'm really excited to take you guys on this adventure with me this week because we had so much fun last time. Again, if you missed that video, I will have it linked right here for you guys to check it out. It was kind of like a whole other experience I did with another Lincoln vehicle. It was the Lincoln Aviator 2021 model, I believe, and this is the Lincoln Corsair PHEV model. I don't, I'm not sure if it's the 2021 model or 2022 model. I guess I'll find out in the meeting. I, yeah, I, I didn't look into it, so I'm not a car gal. So <laughs> it's just putting that out there. I love driving because I don't have a car, so it's so convenient to have um, just for the week. So I always like try and like make the week super jam packed with fun things and definitely. I promise it'll be a fun week just like last time. I'm going to head into my meeting right now, get the scoop, and I will keep you guys updated on some cool features on the of the Lincoln Corsair. <laughs> Okay, so meeting's done. I thought that I would just give you guys a quick little tour of the place. I, as you guys can see, I opened the sunroof, but it's super similar um, display-wise to the Aviator, so a lot of like similar features. There's this gorgeous display in front here that is so great. So you have like all your audio, it's touchscreen. You have your navigation um, that obviously shows you the map. You have all these different applications, um, including uh, apps that you can actually download on your phone. So they have this feature with like a Lincoln app that you can like download and basically use your phone as like the key. So you don't actually have to use the key. You can just use the app on your phone. Um, and then there's like different features here that you can like play with so as you guys know from last time like playing with like the sieges so the chairs you can give yourself like massages and stuff i'm not going to get into everything they have so many different like features that how did they say this i want to like get it word for word but not like to replace you as a driver but just like to make your attention more wary so she was telling me like really cool if like you're going on road trips um and like you're getting tired and like the the car can sense that you're like kind of swiveling in and out of your lane a little like coffee mug or something like pops up on the screen to like alert you that like hey maybe it, you should like pull over for the night or like for a little rest so there's like a display that's called heads up which actually I, you can't see it but when you're driving 
driving it literally pops up here I know like so weird because it's like the glass but it literally pops up here and the driver is the only person who can see it so you can change the features that like show up on it obviously like I said you can't see it right now but I'll try and get it actually on camera for you guys I don't know if it'll actually pop up on the camera but it usually has like the gas how fast you're going basically the little coffee mug will pop up there if like it senses you swiveling kind of in and out of your lane all these cool features here too there's obviously like the heated chairs the cooled chairs um which is obviously a nice feature there's this little section in the middle which actually like charges your phone so if you put your phone like on the side here it actually charges your phone which is really cool i have a big bulky case on it and it doesn't fit in there so um yeah, that's unfortunate, but it is a feature that's really cool. Yeah, then obviously you can adjust all the seatings of the chair over here to make yourself comfortable. There's all these regular features in every car. When you park the car, like the mirrors kind of go in, which is cool. I know like a lot of cars do that now, but that's also really cool. They also have um, basically like the car parks itself type of thing so there's a button that you click here in the middle console and when you click it uh the car basically finds you like the parking spot and literally parks for you which is like assisted parking i think the feature is called which i have not tried i'm so excited to try that especially when i'm driving downtown because as you guys know it can be extremely anxiety provoking um for some to drive downtown and for me anyway i hate parallel parking like if we're in a super crowded parking lot like i don't really care it's like whatever parallel parking stresses me out there's also like a 3d camera basically has like 3d cameras like all over and like sensors all over the car so when you're driving here um and you want to like back up and stuff it obviously gives you like the view and it's so easy like i never have to turn my head i literally just look at the screen and like i know where i'm going because of that so that's so useful there's also like this gorgeous sunroof that you guys saw that like i've opened up which hopefully this week we have like a nice day where i can like open the sunroof just have like good vibes going their sound system is insane so this is something that i also touched on i think i mentioned in like the aviator vlog that i posted but it's just overall like such an amazing sound system um it's meant to imitate like live music especially in the corsair so the, that's the reason that they are treating me i haven't mentioned this yet but Lincoln is treating me and a plus one to head to the Maison Saint-Phonique this week for a concert. So I'm so excited. I invited my dad to go with me because I invited my mom for tea last time. We went to get afternoon tea at the Ritz. So this time we are going to this concert on Saturday, which obviously I'm going to take you guys along with as well. And yeah, so that's kind of like where that theme comes in. The whole like experiencing live music in the car and then like actually going to see live music at the Maison Saint-Phonique. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be incredible and I'm so excited. So yeah, I think that's like enough information to get this vlog started. I'm just gonna show you guys the outside of the car before I head back in. So it's definitely a different color, this one. By the way, I had to take the meeting in the car just because she was like showing me features and stuff. So, so this is the car. Yes, the mirrors just went in because I locked it. Um, they all have like a pretty similar look I find, but you guys can see it's like a much smaller car overall. Um, it is this really nice like navy midnight blue color. It almost looks black um, They have super nice wheels too, but yeah, just overall It's a super nice car. I Really 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 like it. It's like the perfect size. The other one was huge. It was massive I felt like a boss driving that car this one's definitely smaller and like a size that I'm more accustomed to, but it's still really, really nice. It's a little bit later. I'm a little bit hungry and I thought I would show you guys one of my snacks. So I brought my dinner because I have six meals a week and I'm going to be eating out this week on Friday and Saturday actually, I think. So I'm going to have one meal left over. As you guys know, with We Cook, if you don't know and you're just stumbling on this video, I've been working with a company called We Cook, which they offer like pre-made healthy meals. It's a food subscription service, kind of like Good Foods, HelloFresh, all those food subscription services but this one is different because the meals are already pre-made but on top of the meal they have snacks that they also offer and i thought i would show you guys one of my favorite snacks that they offer it is the white chocolate raspberry and strawberry 
cookie it's a protein cookie so it really fills you up i'm gonna show you guys the inside i have a promo code if you guys are interested i think it's only valid for two more weeks so if you guys do want to try out the subscription service you get 70 dollars off your first two orders with this promo code i think your your meals come out to like 40 bucks or something like that it's super cheap so it's definitely worth it if you guys are interested in trying it out you can always cancel your subscription or pause your subscription if you decide it's not for you but if you just want a good deal you guys can definitely check it out i'll have all the information linked in the description and also if you guys have already used the promo code because i have worked with them in the past i'm pretty sure if you sign up with another email you guys can use it again my mascara is drooping but if you guys use another email you'll be able to use this code so this is what it looks like it has like white chunks in it it's so good morning guys it is thursday so sorry if you guys can hear like some worrying in the back i don't know what the right word is but like beeping buzzing there was so much construction going on near our place and it's disgusting like we have the train construction happening in the back this morning and um whatever the hell is going on out there yeah good morning guys so obviously we've skipped a day um we went from tuesday to thursday yesterday was just one of those days you guys it was probably the worst day i've had in a really really long time i it was just not it it was not it today is a different day it's a new day and i'm trying to like just be optimistic but yeah i didn't end up doing much yesterday i pretty much canceled everything i was supposed to go for brunch at dandy with one of my good friends for her birthday. I was gonna treat her to a brunch, but um, she actually just got back from a trip. So it's her first week back and she was super overwhelmed with work. So she ended up canceling. Anyway, it ended up working out because apparently they were closed for an event anyway. So we're gonna have to reschedule that for next week. So unfortunately I will not be able to vlog the experience at Dandy. So I didn't, I didn't take the Lincoln out yesterday, which is, I felt really guilty because it's like I have the car only for a week. I tried to like plan things to do every single day just so that I'd keep busy. But today, like I said, is a new day. So today I have a coaching call at 10 a.m. So that obviously is gonna be happening this morning. It's like eight o'clock now. Literally right when my coaching call ends at 11, I am going to head to, I am going to head to Café Parvis downtown um with a, a blogger friend we're gonna go to the old port and shoot that's that's the game plan for today and then this afternoon emails regular work but i don't have like any client calendars i don't have any other coaching calls today yeah so it's like a pretty content creation day um stocking up on content kind of day not shooting any collabs except lincoln potentially um i did want to talk about kind of like my day yesterday about um why i was feeling the way i have because i i feel like a lot of you can probably relate to this so i just wanted to talk about it just to like ensure that like people know like they're not alone like a whole bunch of us are struggling i have two trips coming up two trips planned one to new york city literally in two weeks and Oh, one coming up in June, which Alex and I will be going to, and that's the big one. It's for like 15 days, I think, and we're going to Portugal and Paris. So I'm so excited because I have not traveled in literally over two years. The last trip I took was in end of October, 2019. So I literally haven't been on a trip. Like I've been to Quebec City, road trip, but I haven't left Canada in over two years, which is crazy because if you guys found me through the pandemic, which most of you have if you're on YouTube, um, I'm a huge traveler. Like I love to travel, I'm always traveling. So this year I was like, okay, you know what? We gotta like get back to like a routine and like obviously be safe and whatnot. For those also who don't know, New York is super, it's one of my favorite cities in the entire world. And I have friends that live there. So when I go, I always fly solo. All this rant to get into. She asked me, she's like, when are you coming? Cause I haven't seen her in a hot minute. And I was like, well, look, this was like a beginning of April, I think. And I was like, look, it's either next month or not till the fall because New York in the summer is disgusting. I've been once and I'm never going again. It was like middle of July and it was disgustingly hot. Like it's, it's disgusting. Like I will never do that ever again. I couldn't even enjoy myself because it was so hot. And I was like, the fall seems so far away. So I 
impulse booked on points that I had my flight to New York. So I'm going for five days May, in May. I'm really excited, don't get me wrong, but this whole ride is coming to a point, I promise. I underestimated how anxious I would be. So that's why I've been struggling a little bit these last, I would say like these last two weeks. My anxiety is at an all time high. I'm having trouble sleeping. Overall, just like not having a good time. And again, don't get me wrong, I'm so excited. Um, but my anxiety about traveling is insane. Like I'm, I'm freaking the hell out. And I'm definitely like, obviously we're doing everything we can to like make sure we're prepped and stuff. But my anxiety is not so much. I don't have anxiety flying. I have like airport anxiety, even pre COVID. Like I just don't like going to the airport, having to go through security. Like I'm always scared something's going to go wrong. That's just like anxious person 101 but once i'm through security i always like my anxiety is like relieved i get on the flight and like we're good to go type of thing um and i don't stress until i have to take the flight home this time it's different because there's like all these documents you have to fill out you have to make sure you have like the arrive can app on your phone you have to get a pcr or an antigen antigen test done and you need to pass which <laughs> i have this irrational fear that i'm not gonna pass even though it's like anyway it's gonna be fine like i know it's gonna be fine it's just my head's going like a thousand miles per minute i just i'm i'm so anxious so i thought that i would share that with you guys because as someone who's like sharing the fun side on like my social media right now about like hey like i'm traveling and stuff and i know a lot of people are starting to travel i just thought i haven't really heard anyone talk about like this side of it um which maybe they're not struggling with and that's totally fine but like i'm really struggling with it you guys like i, I won't lie i'm really struggling i'm very 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 anxious it's not so bad for paris and portugal because at least like i'm with alex but I don't know like what I th why I thought booking New York before my other trip was a good idea. Like it was a good idea in theory and I know once I'm there I'll be happy. But like I'm just like for the first trip that you're taking you're doing it alone. <laughs> after two years like maybe that wasn't a smart idea but anyway it's fine we've made our bed it's time to lie in it and at least like going to the states and coming back from the states right now it's like i think it's like the easiest like it's so simple like the protocols that they put in place so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, I just thought that I would share that with you guys. Rant over. I'm not gonna vlog the entire trips, by the way, guys, because I do want to enjoy myself. It's my first vacation in, in two years. I decided that I'm gonna vlog one vlog, like a, one day in each city that we are. So New York, I'll vlog one day. For Portugal, we're going to Lisbon, Porto, Lagos, and Faro. So I will vlog one of each. Faro, maybe not, just because we're not there that long. Um, but I'll see about that. I'll see like if we're doing like interesting stuff. Um, I'll obviously take you guys along for that. And then Paris, obviously. So that is six, six? So that is six travel vlogs coming up. Again, it's only gonna be one day vlog, um, just because I would like to enjoy the rest of my vacation without having to stress about picking up the camera or anything like that. But you guys have that to get excited about as well because there is lots of travel content coming up. All right, guys, coaching session done. I am on my way. Amanda's almost there. I feel bad, so I gotta go. I'm running, running to get there. This is just not my week, you guys. It's not, it's not my week. Um, I'm going to finish the notes now for my coaching client this morning and just send her over the uh, recording of our Zoom session as well as some of the notes that I have for her for this session. And I'm going to leave it at that today, I think, because I really, I'm just, today's canceled also. And honestly, I'm like, it's such a shame that this is the week that like I got the link in because... This is like the worst week I've had in a while, you guys. I'm trying to turn it around. The week's not over yet, but it's, yeah, no. What is today? It's canceled. Today's canceled. It's Friday. Let's try this again. Good morning, guys. Um, not talking too loud because Alex is still sleeping. I've been up since seven, so I'm just getting ready because my friend Nada and I are going to shoot today. 
um, super last minute decision. I was gonna go on a run this morning, but instead, because yesterday's shoot was such a bust. I'm like, I need content for this car because I have to drop it off on Monday. Um, so I really need to prioritize getting that done. It can be quite stressful to know that like you have like this time crunch, like the car literally has to be back at 10 a.m. on Monday. So I just would rather get it over with so that I'm not stressing over the weekend and like freaking out um, and then shooting content that like I don't love. So yeah, that's that's the game plan, you guys. I'm just gonna turn the car on, get some heat going, because it's freezing. Okay, I'm just gonna take out, I already told you guys, I'm pretty sure, about these lip oils, the Lise Watte ones. They're so good. These things are like, I think they're like 25 bucks or something, and I just put like a lip liner on, added over top, and it gives your lips like that juiciness. I'm pretty sure I've talked about these in vlogs before. But like, look at that, effortless. So today, obviously I'm like more put together. So I put a lip liner under. Sometimes I literally just put it over like my lips. I don't even put a lip liner under. I just want like a gloss. And it does the job. It looks amazing. Alrighty guys, as per usual, Nana and I are running late. Um, nothing new here. It's literally us. So we are always like, okay, we're gonna like meet at like 8 a.m. It always means like an hour after we say. It's hilarious and I love her for that because I feel like some content creators, like you just don't vibe, like they're a punctual person and you're just not. Uh, not that I'm not a punctual person, but I mean, I'm not really. I used to be in the when I lived in the West Island. I guess because like you had to like be early for things. Do you know what I mean? And now it's like I'm in the city, so I don't have to be anymore because like I'm so close to everything. So I always leave like later than I'm supposed to, basically. Since living in the city, I'm always late now. It's like crazy, but I'm like. I'm not like a super late person. I'm like a five to 10 minute late person, which is still late. But typically I find like most people in my life are like five to 10 minutes late. So it's not the end of the world. All that to say, Nana and I are perfect for each other because her late or her punctual is my late and my punctual. So we always arrive around the same time if like one of us is waiting. Um, it's like five minutes or something, which is like not the end of the world. So that's why I love shooting with her. Um, it just, we mesh really well. So yeah, and you guys know Nada. She's been in a bunch of my vlogs. So yeah, I'm going to head on out and I'll see you guys once we start shooting. Chelsea Place. Oh, mais oui. On ne peut pas ça, ça. Oh my God, true. Okay. Right? What? Okay. Mais ça dimanche. That would be fucking that nice. Would be I don't know if they nice. put all the flowers though. Mais quand même, Mais quand même tu peux avoir oh. juste les maisons. Oh my god, you killed it, Nada. Oh my god, I'm gonna like tell like Lincoln and be like, you have to give the props to Nada because she <laughs> came up with the idea. She is my DA. Every day, all day. All day, every day. Oh man. And I just put on a three woman show trying to get the shot for me and Lincoln. She had her sweater covering the window. <laughs> She had my phone set up and she had her arm as the tripod for the camera right and she was taking the photos through my phone It was a mess, but we made it. No, it's it's dedication. This is it why was. I love shooting with you No for real we do what you added So just did a little bit of work when I got home this is the outfit that I've changed into. Alex and I are gonna go for a little walk, grab some food, probably just eat at the canal, and take it easy for the rest of the day. And then later today is my friend Lisa's birthday, which we'll both be going to, so there's like pre-drinks at her place, and then um, Alex is gonna join us at the restaurant later tonight. So yeah. Trench coat is Veramoda. This knit is super old from American Apparel. 
The button down is from Naked Fashion. The necklace is from Daisy Jewelry. Earrings are Majuri. The pants are Zara. The belt, I think, is Fashion Over from like years ago. And then the bag is Jacquemus. Sorry for the mess behind me, by the way. Okay, see you guys on our walk. And then we just went for a nice walk. It's like 2.30ish now. I'm at 9,000 steps. So I'll most probably hit my 10,000 steps today, which is exciting. So we stopped by my mom because Alex was feeling his sweet tooth was like coming out and he wanted a little cookie. If you guys don't know my mom, it is a coffee shop that was started in New York. And I actually discovered them in New York before they even came here. And I fell in love like their pastries are so good their food in general is really good and their lattes are amazing like their coffee is so good and they're known to have obviously like a very cute aesthetic as you guys saw in the footage but their cups especially are like so unique at their literal like works of art and I love like their cups they're just so cute anyway so Alex was like paying for his cookie and I saw that they had a reusable version of their coffee cups like to-go cups and i was like oh my goodness okay i need this in my life for when i'm taking my coffee to go like on the road and so i want to show it to you guys so they had a few different designs um and i picked the one that i like best which is filled with like little rabbits and birds and stuff and flowers so this is what it looks like it is so cute so it's like that blue that's like so known at mama has the logo obviously it says coffee bakery kitchen and then like the whole back is just like the designs it's so cute and then there's like this rubbery top which obviously comes off this part is glass this part's rubber which i need to clean it. it's like very dusty it was 20 dollars, which alex was like why would you spend 20 dollars on that but i mean i use it it's reusable so even every time i go in like i can just ask for a refill and i do use these quite often when i'm like on the go and i just i don't feel like buying coffee i have my van hoot one as you guys know uh, that I, I think I've shown a few times in my vlogs. I could be wrong, but it's like um, it's like a little to-go mug and this one's just a bigger version. So whenever I need like a jumbo coffee, I have this one now, which I'm very happy with. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is for the rest of the afternoon, but um, we're definitely heading out for dinner later on and I'm pretty sure everyone's dressing up. Actually, I'm gonna text my friend Lisa now to see if everyone's dressing up. Also, can we just talk about, I haven't talked about this, can we talk about how long my hair got when I had the hair extensions in? Like, it is so long now. I'm like, oof. But I'm wondering if I'm gonna cut it again. I think I'm gonna cut it short again for my trip to Portugal. I wanna get curtain bangs too. I'm gonna insert actually a photo here of the inspo that like I found and I was like, oh my God, I love that. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of loving this length. Like at least you can like do something with it. You know what I mean? It definitely needs a good cut because it's so dead on the ends. It like really needs a good cut. But overall, I'm like, you could still curl it. Like it's still like a good length, you know? And like, I was expecting my hair to thin out like crazy, but it's still like, I mean, I don't, I don't have thick hair, but like, I think it like, it looks good. I don't know, I might keep it this length. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do with my hair. I'm always so tempted to like cut my hair and then I, and then I, and then I want long hair. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I just keep it a medium length this time. But 
I changed for the dinner tonight. And this is what I'm... Oh my god. Can you choose, boo? So this is what I'm wearing tonight. Everyone's getting kind of dressed up. And I, I don't really have like super fancy dresses, so I hope this is okay. Um, but yeah, so it's this really pretty floral dress, wrap dress that I got from H&M a while ago. Then I just put a little tank top under, um, just because the cleavage situation, I don't want to have to worry about boob popping out or anything. Then I'm wearing these really cute, like, cowboy looking boots that I just got from Oakenfort. They are not everyone's cup of tea. Alex absolutely despises them, but I really like them. I think they're super cute. And then I brought out the Chanel for tonight. And I'm gonna wear a coat over, obviously, because it's gonna be cold. I'll try and get footage at dinner. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to, so we'll see about that. But yeah, if not, sorry for Alex screaming in the background, he's, he's gaming. If I don't see you guys, then I will see you when I pick up the vlog camera next. just been doing a little bit of work this morning to catch up because Alex really wanted it was his day off he had like the Friday off so he wanted to to hang out and do some fun stuff so I did not get all the work done that I wanted to get done so I did that this morning I'm I'm almost nearly done everything that I wanted to get done so I'm happy about that I also like I'm I feel like I'm cringe but like I couldn't wait to like use my new travel mug so i literally i just i poured my coffee in here this morning and it tastes extra delicious in this cutie little mug so love that for me today's a fun day again um i think we're going to alex's parents place for brunch i'm not 100 percent sure he had like brought it up and then he never brought it up again so i think that's happening and then later tonight is actually um the main event of why this collaboration is happening a concert at la maison symphonique here in Place des Arts and we're gonna go for dinner ahead of time um, around there I think we made a reservation at Fire Girl I think which is like it's not top tier food I, I don't necessarily suggest it it's kind of like a baton rouge but it was close by so we were like okay and it's a big space so we knew we were gonna get a reservation I literally only made it last night and as you guys know right like these days it's so freaking hard to get in if you don't like book like a week in advance your reservation um, especially if it's like a smaller restaurant. Um, I know my dad's really excited too, so I'm, I'm excited to like spend a nice Saturday night out with him. Yeah, that's that's the game plan for today, you guys. So, you know what? This week is turning around. We love that for me because I'm not gonna lie, the beginning of this week was not it for me. I was, I have not been that down, or like just it just in such a negative mindset in such a long time. It, it's been a hot minute, to be honest. And I mean, it happens, whatever. But it was just like day after, normally it's like a bad day. And then like the next day I'm like, okay, we're turning this day around, it's fine. But I was like in a slump for, for a good two, three days. Like it was just, it was not my week, the beginning of this week. But yesterday really turned things around for me. I had such a nice time um, at my friend Lisa's birthday party. Um, we went to a restaurant called Ayla, which is in Griffintown. It's super close to us. It was amazing. The food was so good, but she had like a pre pre-made menu type of thing that way it's it's not like we're all ordering different things but we all got to kind of try a whole bunch of things on the menu a little bit tapas style and it was so good it's mediterranean food i highly suggest checking it out food was amazing very very good um it's definitely a fancier place like a little bit more pricey i think i, I don't know like the prices of the regular food because we only paid for the uh it was like the the group menu type of thing so i'm not too sure what like the regular prices are but Lisa did tell me that it is a little bit pricier. So if you're looking for like a fancy date night spot, I highly suggest checking it out. It was super good. Hello. Hi guys, so just spent a really nice morning slash afternoon with Alex's parents at their place and just sat in the sun outside. It was so nice after eating brunch and I burnt my hand. It's like all red as you can see. Literally, I got sunburnt sitting outside, so 
that's my life and yeah so i'm going to get dressed because my dad he's too cute he got all dressed up for tonight so i'm gonna make more of an effort and actually like put a dress on or something <laughs> such a nice time the music was incredible i highly suggest you guys checking out this show the planets show they play music from like et they played a lot of star wars songs and yeah overall it was just a super fun experience my dad really enjoyed himself too we had a fun night out thank you so much to lincoln for making this night happen for us we really enjoyed it we just had such a blast so thank you so much to lincoln for making this possible so good night and i will see you guys tomorrow morning bright and early today is the day that i'm heading to the west island alex is there already he's getting his tires changed his putting like his summer tires on they always do it together they like I think someone comes to the house or something and since i don't have a car usually except when lincoln's lending me one um obviously i don't have to go but i'm heading there later to have lunch with them i think we're gonna watch the movie dune together um and then change of plans because obviously this morning i was supposed to shoot with nada but she asked me to do it this afternoon so instead because something came up this morning so we're gonna shoot this afternoon and get all the content for lincoln which is needed i've got my coffee here in my cutie little reusable mug i'm like trying to optimize this i also wanted to show you guys i've been literally abusing the sunroof in this uh car so i just want to show you guys like how much sun comes in it's gorgeous and we've had such a lovely week um so just to show you guys it's like this gorgeous sunroof that opens up the sunroof takes up pretty much the entire car and another feature that i've been <laughs> like utilizing the absolute crap out of is the ac seats so like heated seats they have like ac seats like cooling seats basically so instead of putting like hot you put cold and it blows cold air on your chair which has been so nice because it's been so warm this week guys you guys can see i'm like in a dress with like a super thin button down over top so it's it's been really really nice i'm not gonna lie just having this car this week the weather has been amazing so yeah it's just like a fun little feature that i wanted to show you guys okay without further ado i'm going to head to the west island and i will see you guys when i'm there hey hi shanti's here she doesn't want to be shown we're going to pick up cold cuts for lunch so that's where we're headed just wanted everyone to say a quick hello Hey guys, so I've made it downtown. I am waiting for Nada. It's like 3.20ish. I've literally been here four minutes. Just texted her. Oh, I'm waiting up for her. I actually found a spot, like a legal spot, which I'm actually like, that never happens on this street. It's like usually all vignettes, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I will show you guys the location that we're shooting at. It's called Chelsea Place. I've shot there before. I'll show some shots here of like the photos that I've shot there. Oh look, a Lincoln's driving by. Hello. Oh my god, that's the car I had last time, the Aviator model. Oh my god, it's chill. Yeah, sorry, you know what, I'm gonna close this because the sun is like beaming in on my face and it's getting hot in here. Um, but yeah, so, oh, it's only halfway. Just another half. Oh 
much better. I obviously haven't gone into it. It's like a little square, so we're going to shoot the car in the square because it's stunning. Um, but I'm obviously not going to do that right now just because there are people that live there. And I don't want to um, impose on their little circle, especially if people are like trying to get out of the square. So we're going to do this quick and fast. Oh, okay, Nada just sent me an audio message. Literally like two minutes away, but there's just so much traffic on the plane. I don't know why. Okay, guys, I will show you some behind the scenes like montages when we start shooting. So the shoot went amazing. I'm home now, got my sunnies on because I'm actually gonna take a walk. So I changed my shoes into my Air Forces. I wanted to go with my friend Lisa, but she's actually going to the Avril Lavigne concert tonight. So love that for her, but that means I'm taking my walk alone because Alex is at a football game, his last football game of the season. Um, and it's just too beautiful. Like I want to go for a walk today. I'm so excited for you guys to see the shots. They turned out amazing. Nada did me proud. She's, oh my God, they look amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see them. By the time this video is up, they are on my feed. They are live. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will have my at right here as well as the link in the description. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, see how the shots turned out. That's it for today, but I will see you guys tomorrow when we say goodbye to the Lincoln, which is very sad, but... It's okay, all good things must come to an end. Good morning guys, vlogging on my phone this morning because I'm returning to Lincoln and I just was not down to like lug my camera with me, so it's okay. It's time to say goodbye to the Lincoln. It's been so much fun having this car. I'm gonna miss it so much. It's just been a ride. I'm going to open the sunroof one last time just for the mems, even though it's kind of cold. I feel like it's a must. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you found it entertaining. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So many more vlogs are coming, you guys, I promise. I know I've been super inactive, but it's only because I've been exhausted. Travel is starting up, so there's definitely gonna be lots of fun content headed your way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you guys wanna stick around and check out the vlogs and stuff. So that's it for this vlog. Let's go say goodbye to the Lincoln one last time. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time with another new video Mwah. goodbye Lincoln goodbye Lincoln it was nice knowing you bye